what do you say to people who say, oh, no, here we go again, Clemson, Alabama? Get better. Beat them. I mean, that's, that's, the, that's always the, the thing. I know people get sick of it, but I mean, it's, this really is, in my lifetime, it really feels like Red Sox, Yankees. You know, I mean, several years ago, it was a up-and-coming uh, Red Sox, and they hadn't won in a long time, but you, you, they had a lot of talent, and then all of a sudden they break, for, break through and then win a few more, and that feels like Clemson, and then the evil empire is, is Alabama. You know, they've, they're the standard. They've been doing it. So it's just tough, man. you got you got the greatest coach of all time. People thought Nick Saban, or the Bear Bryant, and what he did would never be touched and would never be eclipsed. And Nick Saban, in almost half the time in Alabama, has done what Bear Bryant did. And that's that's amazing to think about. And Dabo's the second best coach in college football and has recruited at a high level and got his guys. And it's cool, it's cool, Dan, too, because he does it in such a different way. With he's so different the way he leads b- between Nick and so it's just you know sit back and relax and admire greatness. And I know you get sick and tired of seeing the same two teams win, but if you want to do something about it, then go beat them and don't let them win. Okay, but it, my point to these people who criticize and say, well, I'm not going to watch, it, in any other sport, what, what other sport do you go, I get tired of seeing the two best teams square off? If it's the Super Bowl, the World Series, like you want a great story, but in the end, March Madness, you want to have the two best teams face off against each other. You know, you have that tonight. It just, I guess, you know, maybe we're we're bored by the greatness of these two programs, especially Alabama. I, I'm not quite sure. And maybe it's, you know, regional. Maybe the fact that, you know, you, you've got Clemson and you've got Alabama and the rest of the country, yeah. it's not going to be interested. I, I don't know. I, I'm a little baffled by it, but I would think that you would want to have the two best teams and you're going to have a lot of future pros playing in the game coming up tonight. So I don't know. Oh, Find it interesting, but got, not everybody you got, does. You got, Dan, you've got eight of the top 35 guys ranked, you know, on Todd McShay's board that will play in, in this game. You know, I'm, do we, are we sick of, are you sick of um, LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Golden State Warriors? We've got Matt, what, the last three or four years? It's been, it's been freaking amazing. I mean, it's been, I've, I'm, not, I'm not a, you know, diehard NBA fan. But I love it because I know the faces. I know the teams. I know the storylines. I know Kevin Durant joined them. You know, I mean, I just I, – I thought it's, I thought it was fun. I think it's been fun to follow and watch. So, I think people get upset. But I, here's the thing, Dan. You know good and well. People get upset. They'll be watching because they got, they got Alabama to cheer against or Clemson to cheer against. And, you know, they'll, it'll, be, uh, it'll be fun to watch. And it'll be, it'll be watchable TV, that's for sure. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.